okay, so here's the deal. I have a huge issue with spiders. I've never liked them. I've always had problems with them, and I've never wanted them in my life near me in any regard. Unfortunately, spiders have come into my life when I've least expected it, when I least wanted them to, okay? Spiders just seem to happen to appear to me when I don't want them. <laughs> Why, what's up with all this manifesting stuff? Why can't, why are the spiders coming? The spiders, they come into my room. And I'm, what I'm, I'm not talking like daddy long legs. You know, like daddy long legs have a certain appeal. Apparently their hearts are in their legs themselves, which is kind of crazy. Um, you wouldn't expect it. Also, it turns out that they're um, just like bundles of nerves that kind of just roam around the earth. So we're like us, to be honest. We're just, you know, have you ever noticed that? We're just sort of like bundles of nerves that just kind of like exist in our default mode. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. What, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. So, you know, but you know, every, so what I'm saying is, is that I feel a lot like spider sometimes. Maybe I'm Spider-Man. Hmm. I always have these intrusive thoughts that are like, maybe I'm Spider-Man or maybe I'm, maybe I'm the Hulk. At no, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm fucking Wonder Woman. It's not necessarily a good thing to constantly be thinking that you're a superhero, but you know, it gives you a good framework for thinking about yourself. And like, for example, in certain circumstances, I'm so high strung that if you even put a hand on me, I'm going to bounce. Just like a little jumping spider. You know what I mean? And that leads me to my first story. It's called arachnophobia. Have you ever heard of this? Have you ever heard of arachnophobia? Arachnophobia. Eight legs, two fangs, and an attitude. When I was a kid, I had access to broadcast television, which streamed TLC into my room, into my basement, where I consumed all my media, through my screen... But when we were kids, it was a screen, and then we had we would get stuff from a screen, and then you it was in your basement or it was in your living room or whatever, and you'd turn that thing on, and then the information would stream into you, and now now it's just we're just part of it's part of us, so that's that's new. Uh, <laughs> but one of these things on the Learning Channel was this horrible, awful movie called Arachnophobia. I and you know what? It's bad because it literally instilled arachnophobia in my bones. It literally made me afraid of arachnids. Cryptids. Cryptids. They made me afraid of crypt And uh I was about to go to a piano class one day. It was the day after I watched Arachnophobia, and honestly, I didn't have that horrible reaction during the movie because the ending is pretty fucking sick. Rock and roll! And I'll get to that later about what my, uh, what, well, they use flamethrowers, okay? Arachnophobia. The, the, the key to success against killing arachnids is flamethrower technology. I want that to be remembered. The next day, I was about to go to piano lessons, my little piano fingers, all this little talent bundled up inside of Bobby, right? And, uh, I was laying on the futon in the basement the place where I had the most safety, the most comfort, and what happens? A spider is on my shoulder, okay? Little do I know that spider is sitting right there on my shoulder. I'm laying down like a little baby, feeling really good about myself, feeling really good about the world, saying, you know what? I'm going to get past this. I'm going to move on from this spider shit. I'm going to move on from this arachnophobia because I don't need it. I see the thought, I let it go. You understand? Little Bobby was smart. Little Bobby knew what he was doing. What have I become? My spider friend. Everyone I know has eight legs in the end. Um, anyway, so it jumped in front of my face. The spider jumped directly in front of my face. I didn't like it, and I freaked the fuck out. That's right. I freaked the fuck out, everybody. I ran upstairs, away from my den, away from my safe place. <sighs> And I spread out this blanket. I have the blanket. Just trust me on that one. I spread my blanket out on the floor, and I just kind of rocked back and forth slowly <laughs> like this for like an hour. Oh, my gosh. I wonder where all this anxiety comes from, TLC, the learning channel. But anyway, it's time for me to take the power back. So that brings us to the second part of the story, the social contract that I have between spiders and myself. All right, I wrote this down a while ago. 
and I've, I've verbally exclaimed this multiple times to the spiders in the room, so they know, they're aware that they're not allowed to do these certain things. Listen, it's not my fault if the spiders don't understand English. I Listen, I, they could use Google Translate. They don't even have real brains, okay? They're just nerve bun. Listen, I made, a, I made a contract. I posted it on the wall. I've said it, I've said it out loud a few times. I'm saying it again just for the new guys, okay? Here we go. I've come to a realization after that traumatic experience that spiders, you know, they're, just, they're not that bad because flies are worse. Flies suck, right? Flies come into your house. They suck, all your, they suck your shit. You know black flies and house flies? They bite. They bite. And nobody talks about that. Black flies, we call them that in Michigan. They're these big ass horse flies. All of these types of flies, house flies, they bite and they're bad. We don't like them. They come around, they like sucking shit. Fuck flies. Spiders, we're back to spiders. There's some good things about spiders, even though they're scary. We just gotta set up some ground rules with them. But guess what? There's gonna be some harsh punishments if any of these ground rules are broken. I'm gonna make that very clear to the spiders in my room right now. We do need to keep them around if they can follow some basic ground rules. And here are the ground rules that I've laid out for these spiders, okay? Because they can be benef beneficial to my room environment if they just follow these basic rules. Here's the first one. I don't want to see you. Okay, Mr. Spiders? And you're doing a good job about that right now. Because I haven't seen... Well, I did see one on my bed, which is not cool. But I, ha I showed it mercy. I don't want to see you! You don't get to, like, be around me, okay? I still remember... Arachnophobia. I'm not going to forget about it, too. If I do see you, it better be in one of the specific designated corners of the ceiling. Do you understand? Spiders. I'm speaking to the spiders in the audience right now. You better be in the corner. Upper corner. Make a web up there. Catch the flies, okay? I'm cool with that. Three. Eat flies. Exactly. Three... A asterisk, but not too many. You don't want to eat too many flies. If you eat too many flies, I swear to God, you're going to get big. And that leads me to the fourth rule. Don't grow too big. The, sp the fourth spider rule is don't grow too big. You'll be torched. Exactly. And that leads me to the torching thing. I do torch the spiders. I haven't done it. I did it in the past. I, I don't. I'm not proud of it. But WD-40 and a lighter does torch spiders, but do not do that. That is a dangerous thing to do. You're going to burn your house down. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing when it comes to pyro, okay? I do pyro. I do lasers, red and green lasers. They're basically the coolest kind of lasers you can have. You understand? Number five. Oh, this is a good one. Don't jump on me or don't jump in front of my eyes when I'm laying down. That's honestly really it. Don't jump on me. All right. So if you, and also if you get near the bed, then that's number six. That's basically it. If you get near my bed, you're donezo, okay? If I'm able to catch you and you're near my bed where I'm sleeping, th there compared to there up in the ceiling, I'm going to have issues with you. You're gonna, you may not get torched because I don't torch near the... That's a good rule. Sick, rule four, asterisk, don't torch near your beds. Then that's for the people out there, not for the spiders. Don't torch stuff near your bed, Okay. Don't torch in general. You know what? I'm over the torching. I'll give you this, spiders. Okay, listen. I, I commit to not torching you with a flame, with my custom flamethrowers because it actually is extremely dangerous and I shouldn't have done it. But guess what? If you do get too big and you're in that corner, I'm going to have problems. So eat enough flies, but don't eat too many. I don't want no gluttons in my house. You understand? I don't want no gluttonous spiders that are growing too big and scaring me. Okay? I'm a man of very simple volition. I can't handle it. I'm emotionally compromised. I have an anxiety disorder, okay? Do you understand? I'm a coward. <laughs> I can't handle this. I can't handle the spider. But I can, because guess what? I think this leads us to a good point, which is that, you know, even the worst things in the world aren't the worst things in the world. Spiders, they might seem scary, but they're not actually that bad. Most of them don't bite you, but some of them do. And also, you know, let's do a slideshow. So anyway, this is a slideshow of all of my spiders. Um, we can actually go through it. Let's 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 take this to the let's take this to the let's take this to the computer. So, when we're talking spiders, I want to show you some of my spider uh, information. Like so. In conclusion from my rant previously, spiders are not the worst thing in the world. There's worse things than spiders out there. 
and, and they're flies. Flies are worse. Mosquitoes are worse, okay? Spiders take care of those things. So guess what? You can feel scared sometimes in life. But guess what? Sometimes scary things, they help you. Sometimes things that are scary in your life are good for you. And you need to focus on that moving forward. Do you understand? And here we go. Let's start off with this bad boy. So this was a good one. I believe this is a brown recluse. Wow, that's that's you. It is a beaut, Bobby, is it not? That oh. Is it is a beaut. Oh, I think we're doubling up on audio. This is one of the best spider videos I've ever gotten. Honestly. It is one of the best spider videos you ever got, Bobby, and that is a good one. So this is probably beaut. deadly. It's probably going to hurt me at some point in my oh, life. It's probably... A it's a beaut. I know. Wow. So that one is scary. Okay, that is wow. that is a scary... Oh, <gasps> oh my God. I'm in the <laughs> I, for <laughs> I forgot about that. That was really oh. cool. Yep, so... Well, next time... He's... What? Oh my oh, god, he's like going in the hole. He's good. Yep, <gasps> spiders he's do that. Me. No, he's not. That's just his butt. So that's the thing you learn about spiders, oh guys. Is that he's staring at me? No, it's not. It's actually not. So the thing about spiders is, is that their butts look like eyes so that you always think you're looking at them. And so for someone like me, who's like a little paranoid sometimes, that's not helpful. It, listen, I don't like brown recluse spiders. They're not my jam. We're going to like look. Let's look for a different. Oh, this is a great one. This is a really good one, guys. Check out this spider this video that I have. Guy. Look at that guy. Wow. This is a good one. Uh, so it turns out, little did you know, apparently I have a little fascination with spiders that has not gone away. This shit is insane. <laughs> um, that's pretty good. It's pretty insane. Oh my god, look at that guy. So that guy was stretched across the entirety of my ex-girlfriend's um, uh, entrance to her apartment. And it was like, we had to, then right after, oh, I, I always blow Ooh, on them. I, I just want to see what they do. Oh my God. Ooh, I shouldn't scared. have done that. Look who's fucking scared. <laughs> I shouldn't yeah, treat him like that. Spider that does not fit the criteria for which I would allow into my home. Exactly. Um, I'm horrified. I'm scared. I don't oh want my to God. this earth any longer. Uh, this does not meet my criteria, and I would just like to personally give an extended warning to this spider that you will not be allowed that... in this home. He's currently trying to attack. When this was spider, this? Which does meet the criteria. That one meets the criteria. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna kill it now. Unfortunately, you're 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 being evicted. I have more spider videos, but this one was kind of a magnum opus of a spider video. This one was the one that really tipped me off to being a spider videographer. <laughs> there's there's a um, E3 of <laughs> playing Spider-Man. That's really funny. Uh, oh, get my cloud in. Get my cloud in. Guess who this is? Get my. I need some cloud. This is probably the best spider video that I've ever like come across that I've ever made, and it's the first one that kind of like launched things off. This was in 2000, 2014, so a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, but guess what? This one was pretty beautiful. This was in the parking lot at Maker Studios. Look at that guy. Look at the sky. Look at this guy. Oh my, oh yeah, it's eating something, or I don't know what it's doing. That is so crazy. Look at that spider. What a spider. Oh, he lost it. So that wasn't really food. It was like linen or something. That goes to show that spiders can be pretty stupid. Spiders don't always know what's best. They don't always know the kind of linen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah. I'm not. I am, a, I am very scared. So anyway, in conclusion. In conclusion, this was about spiders. This video is about spiders and my relationship with them. Sometimes in life. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Let's go back. Let's, we got we to gotta make this. Hold on. Sometimes things that are really scary in your life can be helpful. And that's a lesson that I need to hold on to right now because I'm crazy too. And it's just been a two years of a pandemic and I don't know if any of us know what we're doing. Sometimes scary things can be helpful. So we got to keep that in mind. We got to bear it in mind and we got to move forward. We got to be aware and we have to be thoughtful and loving. You understand that? And that's why I'm amending my spider order. I declare and I decree to no longer... Listen, to no longer torch spiders. I won't do it. They did it at the end of Arachnophobia. Cue the clip. Honey, we're in the living room. We need you to kill a spider. Arachnophobia. I hope I can find a clip of Arachno them f frying all the spiders. Anyway. Ah! 
Sometimes you got to fight fire with fire, and apparently spiders don't like it. I learned that from video games. World of Warcraft, if you use fireballs on spiders, it do I think it does more damage. And I think that's been kind of my guiding force in the past, but the moral of the story is I'm no longer going to torture you guys. we got to learn how to live in harmony, just like all the rest of us. So anyway, that's been me signing off. Until next week, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.